What's going on, Jersey? Give y'all some Hogwarts Legacy part. And we're on part 16. Let's do this. Excited. Get back into this. Let's get into this. Continue. I don't think oh. I you know, I just remembered something. I bet you you are gonna be able to tell which one. Cause I looked at it. Whenever like, you know, like how you hit start. Um. Where the fuck? You can't even look at the map. Map's not available. Damn it. Yeah, it's gotta go down here. Yeah, you have to go down here. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodko what we found. Revelio. Oh, oh. How the... Nah, don't... I have to go all the way. I have to go all the way back up. Okay, no, no, we can go up right there. Yeah. Yeah. I need a moment to catch my breath. This was more than I bargained for. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Now we go up like this. Let me look at my talents. I have no talent points. But what I need... I need that. I need a new spell set. I'm trying to deal with the same two. We're almost out of here, Armit. Look! The lift! A welcome sight indeed. Rebellion! about what just happened that wasn't so bad was it it was it really was i'm afraid i've had enough adventure for one day for a lifetime perhaps thank you amit i couldn't have done it without you now if you don't mind i'd like to have a word with lodgok understood i'll leave you to it your goblin secrets are safe with me but i get to write the book about this escapade someday without further ado at you They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. 
Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lodgok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Deep shit, dude. Oh my goodness. You still have woke me up, right? Wow, it didn't. Revelio. I hope Professor Fick. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, you said the next boom upgrade. So I'm gonna go hogs me. Where is that? Yeah. No. Oh, 
decent broom upgrade. Yep, right here. Let's travel here. Sometimes it seems all wrong. Stop, game. There we go. Inventory here. That's right here. Quest. Got a quest, though. These are all of them, though. Sky's the only man. Copy. Purchase a room upgrade from Abby. From what? From Alby Weeks. Yep. Gear. This. I need to get. I need to get to that room of requirement and identify someone. Look at that. About to get a second room upgrade. Finally. Cool. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom, broom upgrade. upgrade. Four thousand. Jesus. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but you'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumors of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. Perhaps I can test out one. Jesus. Good lord. Oh, I do want to test out the boom upgrade though, so. Oh, 
Alright. I'm kind of going here and trying to get the rest of like, some of them. Oh, nice uh, to see you, my young friend. If I follow, if I follow this path, yeah, he's going. No telling what lies in wait for me in there. Collection chest. You're close to a small helmet. Another Merlin trial. Let's see what's up his sleeve this time, Merlin. Revelio. Supposed to use your brain or something? We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Oh, 
another Merlin trial. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. I don't have enough Milo Sweet or Molo Sweet. Yeah, I forgot, dude. Where one tries to do that? Talk challenge, talk challenge. I have one talent point actually. Spell no, it's three. Oh, right here, yeah. Yeah, get a new spell set. What do we do right here? This is for like my cool shit. My curse. Yeah, that's what we can do. How about with this one? Make this like my attacking one. Okay, and then. This one though, we can make this like hmm. Yeah, we can make this one like my this one. I just got an idea. I just got an idea. So let's see this one. Yeah. Okay, so you do this one. This could be like my Lumos and shit. Okay.
No, we're gonna be with that. Ah, uh, wait. Put like Repairo. Put like Repairo down here. Okay. And then yeah, put like Wingardium and Yosa right here. Make sure I got this right. Cool, cool, cool. That actually works out. Sorry, Chad, it was a lot more harder to... I thought I'd be able to do it quick and make the classes, but... You gotta, like, look at my other classes I have. My other, like, spell sets I have. Like, okay, make sure I don't, don't overdo it. Oh, not enough mallow sweet. So, I said I had, what, new... More gear slots. I have like a few unidentified items that I need to get to. I know. Go back to the Hogwarts. This is where I need to go. Because I need to identify my gear. I have a bunch of them. right here. Is it down here? No. It's somewhere around. Right here. Look at that. Look at all them up. Perfect, dude. Destroy. 
Do that. Okay. Yeah, a bigger one. Target Imperial Target. That's actually damage. Hmm. Cool. Uh, this one. Sorry, done. That one's good. Not nothing right there. Give us a new one right here. 55 note. 6 note. 69. We got these new ones. 62. Yes. 65. Yes. That would be it. Nice. Look at this look at my inventory. Cool. Yeah, I upgraded my gear, so I took all that other stuff. So we have 1,500 health, 203 defense, and 200 offense. So that's cool. What's up, everyone that's in here? Sorry, y'all. I'm just trying to figure shit out. Try to try to take, be careful and not like how I, I destroy my gear so I don't destroy like, the wrong ones. Finally got done. I held off so much with um, trying to identify my gear in the past couple parts I've done, and it's just uh, astronomy tower. Okay. Now where is this Amelia Rays? Oh my goodness! It's a far one. Right here. So you are here. Got a map. Got a world map. And all the way over here. Jesus. That's far. Sure, request. Uh, so it's right there. So we need to go right. Go right here. It's the closest. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Okay. What is this Merlin trial? Just right here. Nice. 
It's like a place right out of a storybook. Revelio. Excuse me, Madam... Navarro. Bella Navarro. May I help you? What is it you sell, Madam Navarro? Potion ingredients, mostly. There's a tidy bit of profit to be made from the most unassuming things. I assume you've studied potions at Hogwarts? Professor Sharp's class, yes. Then you should know enough to appreciate my inventory. What do you have for sale? Let's see how I can assist you, my lovely. Oh, I don't have much money at all. Thank you for your time, my sweet. Right, let's go ahead and do this Merlin trial. Let's go ahead and save it first. Sorry, Chad, I just get so overwhelmed with like the challenges and then shit like that. And uh like I know that quest. Merlin trial. Oh, I don't have Mallow Sweet. You like you can can you like buy Mallow Sweet from Madame Navarro? How are you? Wonderful, thank you. What do you have for sale? Let's see how I can assist you, my lovely. That's all she has. So you can't like Thank you buy for the time, melon sweet from there. So you can't do the Merlin trial right there yet. You had to get Mallow Sweet. Mallow Sweet leaves. How do you get Mallow Sweet? I'm not even gonna worry about it, man. Go ahead and just do my mission. I do wanna I do wanna worry about it, but I can't wait. Like... Who lived here, I wonder? Maybe I can find something.
killing. I know I'm not hearing things. But they got this, you ain't wearing that goblin helmet. Stop. Incendiary. Trick yourself. Hail. Hail. Sebastian hears about this. Ashwinder. Revelio. Rebellion. 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 Incendium. 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 So, of course, you just got done with it. I don't like the looks of that encampment. Me neither. Charius! Halt! Handy resource. Um. Hi. Revelio. What level are we looking at? Oh hell no nah, no nah, no nope. fuck that Oh hell no nah, hell no nah, hell no nah. Please They were they're, they're high this looks levels intriguing. Don't... Don't Fucking
The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Trying to get rid of all the green things. There we go. So settings. Save game. Here. I'm not saving in a little bit. It's good. Side chat. I just get overwhelmed with all the stuff Gryffindor, I have. Over here. I get confused. Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually, thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. <laughs> anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. Going well. Say so myself. Oh Did my god. That? that was quite something. 
Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. <laughs> not bad. For a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself. I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. Alvy Weeks. First, let me go up here real quick. Rebellion. What do you have in store for me this time? Oh, I need Mal Sweet again. Revelio. Why can't there just be like mouse sweet around like nearby? Rebellion. You there? On another Mind adventure, are we? Sweet leaves. Requirements. Trials of Merlin and Mellow Sweet Leaves. That's requirement, yeah. Let's go to inventory then. Go to here.
Yeah, I can't find nothing. What the, I don't know how to get it. I am trying to figure out a way to get Mallow Sweet Seeds. Sorry, I mean, I know, Chad, I've mainly been, I've been now learning, like, oh, shit. I need to figure out a way to do this, shit, and that, and that, yeah. I don't know how to get Mellow Sweet though. So what do I do? I wonder if you'd be able to help me. Sorry. Requirements, trials and more and Mellow Sweet leaves. I just don't know how to get it. Let's just go to my quest and okay, sky's the winner. Return to Abbey Leach. Yeah, do that. There you go. What's this? Maybe send me another one. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, so we go to Hogsmeade. Let's go to Hogsmeade. Okay, cool. Um, seeds and fertilizer. Wait, yo, that actually sounds promising. I might well find it. Because what, I need Mallow Seed, right? Right, I need Mellow Sweet, right? Yeah, Mellow Sweet leaves. I might be able to buy him from like a venue or something. I am so sorry, Chad, about this part. I'm. I need, like, the, tri the Trials of Merlin, or whatever they're called, yeah, I think that's what they're called, you, like, can buy, you can, like, get them to increase your inventory slots. 
We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. What can I do for you today? Maximum potion recipe. I'm trying to find Mellow Sweet. I don't know if he'll even have it, though. That's the thing. That's the thing. I don't even know if he will. Let's see what it is. Potions. Maxima potion recipe. Spell damage. Oh shit. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. <sighs> Revelio. Yeah, it's whatever. I gotta think though. Mallow sweet. Let's just go over here then. Revelio. Revelio. How's my favorite test flyer? Anyway. What? Wait, what? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I return to you, bitch. Oh, there we go. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. Ah, <sighs> good for Mr. Weeks. Mr. Weeks and I do make a good team.
there. In the market for potions, are we? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Always late that Pippin. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. Ha! <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Welcome. 
Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. I'm truly awed by what we've accomplished. The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spint Witches when you can. Hello again. Couldn't have perfected the broom upgrades without your help. As always, I have a special prize for you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again.
Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. This must be it. This must be the cellar. How to find that venomous tentacular? Revelio. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Hello, Amora. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Revelio.
I could have easily killed them, but I was like, eh. I was like, let's see if I can just get through it. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. 500, let's go. All right. I actually I had to get the broom upgrade. Yeah. The broom upgrade. Right? Or did I did I have it? I don't remember if I got enough for it. That's the thing. No, oh, see, I don't have the final rune up, rune up for it yet. Twenty minutes since last time I saved it. Jesus. So now we need to. You're back. Nice to see you again. Oh my god, I need 7500. Bruh. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, wow. Hope to see you again. Revelio. Seventy five hundred, like it's ridiculous. Uh, Revelio.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion! You're gonna need to do better than that. Revelio. Get in there. So 500 so far. 500. So what does it mean? I need. Is it? It's 7,500, right? Collection shares. The treasure vault. Wait, yo, wait, if we do the treasure vault? Yeah, where the fuck am I? Right there. Where is the closest? There's a field guide page right here. I wonder what the treasure pool is. I'd say let's go find out. Alohomora. Hello, 
Trevelyan. There was something above. All we collect the money. Lumos. That's gonna be near. Lumos. Lumos. Oh, there's the butterfly. There he is. Lumos. Hogsmeade, here I come. Too many. Rebellion. Arrest on the Let me also. Rebellion.
Revelio. Lumos. Incendio. Revelio. Oh, you know what? It's a fucking chest. I think I gotta get. Unless I actually get another. No, it is a chest. Uh. Incendio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Compulso. Repairer. Oh my gosh, the Mallow Swing. But guess what? I don't have any. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Not enough Mallow Swing. I don't know how to get Mallow Swing. <sighs> Revelio. That's what it is. That's part of the Merlin trial. Oh. I should have Revelio. What the fuck? That's what I gotta do. Duh. Love you, sir. Revelio. Uh, okay. And that's it. Wow. No fucking money, no nothing else. Wow. Oh, no, no. What the fuck are you? Revelio. Wow.
Damn, I haven't seen that in a while. Holy shit. So wait. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibel, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Revelio. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape. I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. No one could charm a hairstyle like me. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago, 
I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. I, I just don't really care. It's just going to be talking about like their side of the story. And all I'm going to do is just carry information. So it's really not nothing we really need to really. It's not like big story driven things. So that's why I just went on my phone while whenever I started talking to them. 
let y'all listen to it. I mean, I listen to it, yeah. It's just... I'm just trying to get money so I can buy this broom upgrade. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. I kind of wish he can take a broom over hogs me. Like, like, I, yeah, I, mean, I get it. Yeah, walking around it makes sense. Yeah, let it walk you off. But, I wish he can just go over it. But it makes sense. Revelio. Nothing like that, yeah. Wait, is that a chest? It was, but I've already said shit. Did I ever do this one? Rebellion. Lumos. Butterfly can't be too far. That he must be around here somewhere. Is that it? It's right there. Lumos. Where I found this. Rebellion. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Lumos. Oh, you had to go. Take a big circle around. God, it's right there. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so you can jump with this, right? Right 
Oh, okay, right here. There we go. Like the field page guy that hogs me. So I did all of them? Oh. Nice. Now we can go and complete or start or complete this mission. I don't know. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Ravelio will show me where she was taken. Oh shit, someone kidnapped her. Oh, right here. Revelio. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quick. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. She must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Oh my god, I want to find these optional ones, yeah. Look at the poems. How are you supposed to find a book of poems? Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. One coin, wow, that thing. Taken from Agatha's filbert. I'll be thrilled to have this back. Oh, 
I can't move. Quidditch cake. Pages select. Then now we need to go. To, we're gonna go to gear. Actually, no, there's still more in collections. So keep the okay, okay, collections right here. Uh, uh, right here. Cool. Um, now we go to. Now we go to gear. Go to the glove. None of these two. Yeah. Sixty nine seventy one. Bye bye. Uh, all right, cool. My money's looking really good right now too. So let's go. I'm trying to save up seven forty three. Definitely save it right now. Oh, this is the big boy chest. Identified hand item and it's gold. Revelio. One coin. Lumos. Oh, 
39, let's go, that's what I'm talking about. Revelio. Lumos. Oh, sorry. I'm just not, I, I would go over there and try to get some more of them, but no chest, but just keep going. We're already right here, it's no point. must be here somewhere. Revelio. Lumos. You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my one for you. Over here. I need your help. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not able to summon Revelio. It must be blocked by something. Lumos. Revelio. Mr. Rape's wand could be in there. Wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Rebellion. I don't think I have that. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These rebellions you must pay. Rick or something. Get out of my way, bitch. I'm pissed, dude. Get out of my way, you bitch. Why you wait whenever I'm about to leave? Get out of there, dude. Then you walk in there. Revelio.
Lumos. Lumos. Okay. Shit, man. Wow. Revelio. Lumos. 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 Cool, so you can use it. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Yeah, I can't Lumos. find a switch. This guy's love letter. Option find auto dibbles love letter. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Repair. Lumos. 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 Revelio. Repair. Lumos. 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 Revelio. I was gonna try to find this dude's love letters, but can't even find them. So I'm gonna just exit out the hogs meat. Oh my god. Oh man. I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashfinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. There's a basis for that. Yeah. I did not mean to tear.
Pick the kitties. Two thousand two hundred seventy nine. Gloves. It's unidentified. And these can just be bye bye. This one. Bye bye. This one. Bye bye. Okay, cool. Um and we go to settings, save game, 806 was the last time I was saving it, 28 hours so far on the game, here, here, to try to go to the broom guy. Here, this guy. You're back. Nice to see you again. Seventy five hundred. Wow. Nice doing business with you. This is down. Oh. You need seventy five hundred. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I need to figure out. Right, Rick. Rick. Should be okay. Okay. So. Available quest? No way, dude. Yes.
There's four available quests, actually. Off on another adventure, are we? I just need to get money, is what I need to do. Oh my god, it's Christmas time! Tell me. Whisper it in my ear! I'm... It's a spawn train. Appearances. Conjuring spellcraft. travel here I'll be right
sorry about that. Alright, uh, where the fuck? Revelion. I've always said that travel. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly no, rare to not. find a student who seeks after things. But if you truly, we are so. Thank you, Professor. I am glad to. Revelio. I'm seriously just at Hogwarts. Second. Try to collect more money. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio, Lumos. There you are. Hey, bitch. Lumos. Okay, cool. Revelio. Lumos. Room of requirement. since you saved Mr. Rayburn I from the Ashwinders. We have come so far. We should discuss the next steps in our plan to stop Harley. Shit. Okay, hold on. I remember that. And here it is right here. St still haven't still haven't done this one. This one, nope. This one, nope. This one, nope. Nope. This one, nope. This, this one, nope. Okay, let's see. I have 
four plus no wait, hold up. Three plus two what's two? Two is that. Okay. Right there. So then you have four plus eight. What's eight? Eight is the spider. Eight. Or you could do. Hold up. No, no, hold up. Four plus one is five. So then seven. What's seven? Sorry, I forgot to look at that one. Seven one is that one. There you go. Beautiful. Rebellion. Wow. Lumos. I can't see shit. Revelio. Lumos. Alohomora. Beautiful. Oh, it's a kitty. Yeah, there's, got, there's gotta be a trophy to pet in every cat. Revelio. Because it's like late game and all. It's because you could have you could have got this like earlier in the game. And, you know. Okay, so there's there's uh, go to right there. Uh, how do I get up there? Over here. Aloha Mora. I don't even know what it was. Level one. You could do auto solve, but. Why would I want to do auto solve when I know how to do this? Thank you. Looks like there's something right above me. Lumos. Fucking shit. Revelio. Aloha Mora. Don't slip right at the last second. Rebellion. There you are. Oh. Yep. Perfect. I 
much money do I got? Two thousand one hundred and twenty-eight. Oh, y'all can just, well, these two can just leave. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Sensor is 822, it's 840. There we go, beautiful. Get away from me! There are blood if I'm into. I think I've gotten this. Rebellion. Lumos. The Hazard. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Where is that butterfly? is this right here right in front of me there's a missing dead ass like right in front of me some kind of new quest Where the fuck is this butterfly? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Oh, that's the Undercroft. That's the Undercroft. Oh, that's the Undercroft. Okay. Where is... I was looking at the picture, yeah, but... Revelio. Somebody like right here. Oh. 
uh, right there. I'm trying to do the butterfly one. Revelio. Yeah, here's the fucking painting. Oh my god, there it is. That's where it is, yep. How the fuck? Cause you gotta Lumos. Come here, bitch. Right here. So you're gonna Rebellion. have to Rebellion. Okay. This is gonna be Lumos. Booking it, dude. How nice to see you, my young friend. We gotta book it. Let's see what's right here. Fuck. It's right here, yep. Awesome. Oh, dog. Nice. Okay, so now we need to go talk to Poppy. There, yep, now we can do it. Rebellion. Rebellion. Yeesh, creature. Yes, Christmas time. You're safe. Uh, hold on, let me just save it. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Hauntel Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. 
She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. So that's all it was, and just talking. Three kind of engines, three quick humanity. Incendio. Let me answer. Accio. Whoa. That's what it was. It was with the poso. Revelio. Oh my god, no way. Lumos. Revelio. Oh my god. That's a butterfly right there. Lumos. That's a, that was an interesting one. Oh my god, it's gonna shit on me. I literally can't just gonna shit out of myself, dude. I went to open up the door and I accidentally pressed R2 and it and then that 
the bat literally scared me, dude. Revelio. What we do out right here? Nothing. I don't know. Alright, let's write like that. Excuse me. Uh, Thinking about putting actually. Let's do that. Hold up. I want to make some changes. Okay, so I want to put. This right here, this right here, then we go down, then we put this right here, no, that right there, oh shit, oh shit, see this is why I don't fuck with this shit. I wanted to put all the blues together. I did the post, so so I'll be good like that. I think I, I think that's right. Let's see. Yep. Uh, 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 cool. And then my my powerful ones. Okay, cool. Can I just like see? I can just great hall. You go right there. Duh, I could have just done that the whole time instead of just running around. Running instead of like another walking trying to get there. We? Yeah, we are off on another adventure. All these are just gonna be so like whoa. With you. I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and... <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might, in fact, have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done... I suspect she'd be proud. 
If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Halo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabililand, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savannah. Galloping? Your father was also an Animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant, my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them, and then he was gone. Jeez. And it was all my fault. Your fault? How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. Jeez, my mother and I dark. tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. Jeez, we all have our burdens. Dark. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. <laughs> Fucking dark, Thank dude. you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. Lumos. Revelio. Fuck is that? We got you, Leviosa. Revelio. I should be about to level up. I'm literally so fucking close to level enough. It's on the Five plus one equals six, so that's another five. Okay, so that four plus shit, where is it? Oh, here, four plus two. So the net zero, so zero is the owl right there. That's that. So you got five plus 
Five. Five, five, five. Five will be the crab. Uh, Rebellion. I'm trying to find this other one. Right there. Okay, it's downstairs. So it should be one, right? Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. What's one? One is the horse. That should be it right there. Get fucking lost. Should be open now. No, it's not. Okay. Hold up. Five plus. Okay. Five plus one equals six. So five. 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 It's five. Five is the crab. Or did I already do that? Oh, no. Five is crab. Yeah, five is crab. You five is crab. Crab, 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 crab. This is it. I hope so. There we go. Perfect. Rebellion. Rebellion. Step above. Rebellion. That's it. That's it. There we go. Twenty eight. Okay. What is that? All right. Um, fuck. All right. Oh, shit. Where am I going now? Where am I going? Surprise meeting. Meet Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. Okay. Cool. Okay, so we have talent. We have talents points. You have one. Oh. Uh. I'm also still trying to get my broom upgrade. I'm trying to remember how much it was. Fuck, how much was that broom upgrade? What's my money? My money is at 
2,928. I don't think it's getting close. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Let's see here. Hold on. Let me go to Hogsmeade. Alright, and we're gonna go here. what store it is does it get any more cozy than hogs hey we got a christmas shit rebellion Hang on, I need to pet the kitty. It made me pet the kitty first. Oh. Oh, shit. Rebellion. This is the building. Come in. Oh, Sorry, it's not. Smell. New batch of toad hide. It's not the building. <laughs> Could sell these fuckers. Only 120 for each, though. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Rebellion. Is that something I can open? It is. <laughs> Rebellion. All right. I need to try to find this fucking Sometimes building. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Where's my dude with the fucking broom and shit? I'm in Hogsmeade, so I... Well, hello there. Come in, Ooh, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. So, so, dude, this is a pog. Actually, maybe it's not really a pog. <laughs> Never mind. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Okay, where the fuck is this guy? Kitty! Pet the kitty! Pet every kitty! Alright. I don't know how I'm going to tell my dad to say. Oh. Okay. 
more to for this. Revelio. Where is this guy? Seventy five hundred? I still don't I'm not even fucking close. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Well, I mean it is for where is it? Right here. Right here. I, it is the final broom upgrade, but jeez. Seventy five hundred for a broom upgrade. Wow. What does this icon look like? It's literally it's literally just looks like coins basically, so Alright, let's go to quest, surprise meeting, meet Poppy at the Forbidden Forest, okay. <laughs> I can do this. Right, we're going to complete this mission, we're going to get off. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- Well, they better start talking now! What do you think you're doing here? We were hoping to speak with you. Ah, I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough. You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch.
Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Sidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Sidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. I had a cool cutscene. I like that. <laughs> Oh, is that the mission over or something? I don't know. My quest, 58%, um, 80% of field guide pages. So we are getting fucking close. Nice. Um. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. I think so. I think I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. Um, yeah, that was literally the mission right there. That's what I've realized. Like, some most of these missions in this game, dude, they're like, oh, you just talk and then boom, that's it. Third keeper trial. Third keeper trial. Oh Jesus. Um, dude, I just don't know whenever Sebastian's missions. I think I'm gonna do Summoner's Court match one next. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream though, uh, and we will continue on tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, that's all we got time for. Uh, double check, make sure I saved it. Yeah. So yeah, that's all we got time for. I love y'all. See y'all later. Peace out.